Okay, Rapscallions, uh, let's talk about a couple of the papers that came out in just the last few days. Um, three papers, two in the New England Journal of Medicine, one in JAMA. And uh, two of them are out about the real-world effectiveness of the Pfizer vaccine in Qatar and in Israel. And this is very, very important stuff. It found, and I'll just sort of summarize, and now we're talking hundreds of thousands of patients that have been in these studies, in these post-vaccination studies, hundreds of thousands of patients, that the real-world effectiveness of the Pfizer vaccine for the South African and for the British variant in particular, because that was most of the stuff flying around out there, was substantial, about you know high 90s, 97-ish percent for death and severe disease. So uh, extremely effective. Not 100 percent though. You know these are the first reports that I've actually seen of the vaccine being used, and actually patients still dying. It turns out that uh, you get a substantial amount of protection after the first dose within two weeks, but you get even more protection by getting that second dose after two weeks. So it's really important if you're thinking, well, I got one dose, that'll be enough. If you got Pfizer or uh, Moderna, you should get that second dose. That's what I'm reading from this. Very good as a one dose, but you need the two doses. And even if you take two doses, there are still now reports of patients dying, although it, it drops that probability extraordinarily. There's nothing that is perfect in medicine, but these vaccines are extraordinarily good. So two doses of the vaccine, then 14 days, your chance of dying from COVID-19 drops substantially, 97% reduction. It's really quite amazing. We don't actually have the details on whether these patients had who died had other comorbid disease and stuff. I suspect that they did, that they were very high risk. They were probably older. We don't know exactly. We'll be waiting for those reports. So that's from Qatar and from Israel. And finally, a little bit about uh, the Novavax. So Novavax is a different type of vaccine. Here, they basically produce the spike protein and then inject you this special version of the spike protein and then you make antibodies and then you get protection. So the initial study that we we'll see here, a phase one slash two study, shows about a 50% reduction in mild to moderate disease. So that's pretty good. We would have taken that early on in this sort of vaccination story, except that Pfizer and Moderna have turned out to be so good with their sort of 95% numbers that it's made me us think that 50% isn't that great. They did not, and this is the important thing, they did not report on severe disease and death. They did not report on severe disease and death. So when you read that in your newspaper, uh, realize that the thing that we really care about, severe disease and death, they did not report on. I suspect that it will be significantly better than that 50%, but we don't know just yet. But that's another one that's coming along. The real key thing here is obviously to get to vaccines to as many patients as possible, uh, first and second doses in the entire world. It is not okay to be a vaccine nationalist at this time because any variant that occurs anywhere in the world, you know we are global it will come back to our front door. If for no other reason than to protect yourselves, we should all be trying to get as much vaccine out to as many people across the world as possible, uh, irregardless of their ability to pay. We really have to control this pandemic through the use of these vaccines as quickly as possible, or this is gonna be an ongoing story for years to come. All right, more when it comes out, Herbert out.